It's nothing to be, like, discussed. It's nothing to be discussed? I've, I've tried to call Reva, my case manager, and she will not cooperate. What you want her to cooperate and do for you? Well, she's supposed to be... I can't get security. Mm-hmm. And I can't get all my stuff set up without Reva and my shield company working all together. Uh, my stuff for my safety, popularity stuff that I've talked about at the meetings. Let's just talk about at the meetings, but then you give out the address online? So what that, you I, to I never I never gave my address out online. You never gave your address? You never yeah, shared your location or your videos? Nope. Nothing? Nope. So people just randomly order stuff and send stuff to the house? It's, it's, listen to me. It's because I'm so popular mm-hmm. that I get spotted in this own fucking neighborhood. You got spotted I get, in I get, I, yeah, people... It's not my fault nowadays everybody could have a cell phone, Mm -hmm. okay? So all it takes is for me to go outside the front door, around the block to the school down here, let's say, Mm -hmm. and my location is fully breached because people are on their phones taking photos of me because I'm that popular. So you're not doing anything on your settings? You're not sharing your location? I I have, I already have all of my, um... All of my notifications turned off. I have my phone um, location tracking. I have that off. Mm -hmm. If the police wanted to track me down for any reason, they can't because I have my location tracking turned off. You got it turned off? I have everything that I can possibly do, I have, like, set already. What happened when you broke the window upstairs? That, That happened, I have already discussed this. That happened the first week I was here. Yeah. Why? Wow. What? What was you? It was. It? it was because I was talking to Reva and I was on the phone with my mentor, mm-hmm. trying to discuss security and how we need to handle that for my safety. Mm-hmm. And it ended up with everyone just saying, "I will end up back on the street." And when they said that I was going to end up back homeless on the street because they're not wanting to work with my security company that I'm trying to work with. There's not much that I can do. I'm like literally being like bossed around like a rag doll, and it's not okay. Yes, because at this point, there's no way. Like Reva has said that she will not cooperate with my security company. No, because I have I have nowhere to sleep in my room. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna sleep in my room without. So it's like, why does everything need to be so public with you? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because it's for my people, safety because because you guys you guys want to kick, kick me out on the street. Door. Nobody oh, wants to kick you out. you out. If she wanted to kick you out, she would have been put in a 30 day notice for you. I'm pretty sure. Robert today, Robert that said that you you broke the window. Miss P has been dealing with you. Robert's not trying to kick you out. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's I I have his number. Robert, okay, with you. But Robert's not trying to kick you out. Like you don't have to record everything. I am required to for my company and for my protection. Hey, hey, you can't do that, man. You can't bust on. Listen, so you know what you all right here? Let him call. Let him call. So, what do you Yes, you, hold, hold on, hold on, listen to me, hold on, listen to me, you said, listen to me, You terrifying him. listen to me, stop interrupting me, listen to me, you straight up, listen to me, you straight up, you, you straight up, you straight up, listen to me, you, listen to me, You need to listen to me rather than interrupt my goddamn shit. No, because what you're doing right now is just, hey, shut up. You, you straight up, you st- listen no. to me. No. I, no. 
You guys are not cooperating oh, at all. Cooperating. You're not cooperating. <laughs> you guys are not doing anything right. You guys are supposed to call my entertainment manager for security reasons. <sighs> and you guys want to blame me for everything. It's not my fault. We just blame you for the holes you put in the wall. No, it's the reason why that's happening is because you guys are like blaming me for all my fucking career. Oh, do you see your head? <sighs> you guys want to blame me for just the fact that I am popular. You guys don't listen to me. You guys don't listen to me at all. <laughs> you guys straight up don't listen to me. But you guys don't listen to me. You guys call the police instead. Because I I I I've been working on myself. It's clearly that I'm angry now because you guys just don't do anything. I've been working on myself. You guys don't care. I've been working on my, myself. <sighs> I'm listening. I'm listening to you. <sighs> you, know? you guys don't help at all. <laughs> I've even had meetings with my case manager about this. You guys don't handle this right. You guys are supposed to call my entertainment manager if people are coming on the front porch de bringing deliveries. There's no more deliveries coming here. Because I mean, why the fuck did you guys show up on a weekend? Because I live down the street and I'm a staff and I'm obligated to come to any house home home that I want. Then you guys are supposed to I call. I announce myself to you that I'm coming before I come. Because what happens if I'm not here? I'm not coming here for you. And then you guys got and you guys got angry because I'm recording when I told you guys I that I hold on, don't interrupt me, don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. I'm I apologize. Don't interrupt me. No one's angry because you're recording. That is your legal right. That exactly and then she told me I could do it outside of this house. Yeah, but because you can't record but us, and you're recording I can, us. I, I can record you for my yeah. legal, you just said, legal right. Your legal right, but your legal right is counsel once you start recording us. That's, That's no. Contract. You're not supposed to do that. Well, you know I what, record, I'm not on a contract. I can't you. There is no contract, because so I never signed a contract. I have never signed a contract. It was a, a waiver, actually, for you to be here, you know. Concerned to me. What's your number? Can I, can I call you personally to talk to you? No, me? you can't. Because I don't know who you are. You have not told me. What? What do you mean? I told you I'm a staff. Well, I mean, other than... I've met you before. You put me on your tick tickety talks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not my case manager. I'm so not, so you guys you manager. guys did not call her. But you're in my house, though. You're in one of my homes. So you did. You did. Not, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You did not. Right now you're not. You're hold not, on. You're listen. Not leaving a safe environment for my staff, so I'm concerned for her. You. You did not. You did not call Reva. Okay. You did not call Reva. They're just not listening. They're not listening at all. They're refusing to even listen to me. They keep interrupting me. And they're going off over what happened last night. And we've already been over this hundreds of times. And now they're calling the police. Yeah. We're calling EMS services for your head to make sure you're okay. So you put your head through the wall multiple times. I would have to go through the whole book. But you, you just don't, like, you guys are supposed to call Reva. Okay. And then Reva is supposed to talk with my Reva entertainment is manager. Today's Reva is like Chick fil A. No, no I, I, listen to me. I know that. 
but there's there's already a set rule in place, and that rule is not being followed. So when you start damaging things, we're supposed to follow certain rules. No, I never said that. I'm talking about the reason why you guys came. Because you guys came for what happened last night. No, we didn't. Because you, you guys never even told me why you guys were here. You guys we, just came in, sat down next to me. Tell you why we're here. I, I you're not obligated. You, wait a minute. You're not I obligated. The that runs the house to the Miss P. Miss P. Miss P. Doesn't run. even. Miss P. Doesn't even help. She doesn't, she, it's not her job. So, my understanding is you're upset because we're here? Because, because you guys came into the house, you guys tried to talk to me, and when I tried to explain, you guys wouldn't listen. It's, it's very clear that you guys just want me out. We love you guys, we will never let you out. With you guys calling the police, it like I said, it's clear that you guys want me out. And now you guys are trying to cover it up. Saying that you guys are not calling the police when you guys already did. You guys are just trying to cover up everything. Trying to make me look like a fucking idiot. I'm not going to be calm because, like, literally, this needs to get heard and this needs to come to an end. Because, like, the I have already told you the fact that when I am, I'm so popular with my entertainment career, okay, that when, and my music career, that when I go out in goddamn public, okay, I can't even leave the house without, like, people walking up to me. That's happened every single day this week. And Reva, my case manager, knows. And we've been through this before at our team meetings that Reva said that she doesn't want to be involved with my entertainment team. Now, there is no security measures no safety plans put into place for when I'm in public. Okay? My location is getting breached 24-7 when I'm out in public. My mentor, Bob, has now came forward, and he has even said he doesn't want to even be involved in public with me anymore. Because, it, like, there is no plan for safety. So, Reva has... Now, I've told Reva on Friday that she needs to contact my entertainment manager rather than calling the police for everything because it's hey, not Daniel, helping. Come talk to me. So, Daniel, 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 you know that I'm recording. You haven't interrupted a whole bunch of times. Well, I'm going to record okay, as well for, for, for my career purpose. That's it. For my safety. So, yesterday... The police showed up mm -hmm. because there was a situation that escalated. Somebody was, I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter, so that's important to get across. Is Daniel, that I'm, you and I have interacted a whole bunch of times. I realize that. Okay, so, but, so we don't need to go through this. I'm a singer-songwriter. I've got comments. Okay, I've got, just, okay. What happened? So, to be honest, I don't even know because they showed up at the house. Okay. Okay. I don't know who they are. They work for, I guess, Shield, my housing company, but I don't, they're not a part of my team. Okay, but they can be here. I realize that. They came over to this house and started talking to me about something that was going on a couple days ago. I tried to explain to them what was going on. 
and they started interrupting me. They wouldn't listen to me. So I, at that point, said, I need you to contact my entertainment manager for this concern because this is not, like, nothing is being handled properly. There's already been rules and restrictions from my case man, my state case manager put into place, and they're not being followed. None of the rules that I have a team meeting once a month on mm -hmm. are not being followed. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, they're just start yelling at me. They start interrupting me. I'm like screaming back, you're interrupting me. Please stop. You're interrupting me. You guys are not following the rules. Just because I start screaming and trying to say, you guys are not listening to me, they call the police. And then because of just the past and things that have happened with the police, I start panicking. And then they try to intervene more, and it just explodes. It, it go, gets out of control at that point. And there has been rules that have been put into place that are supposed to be followed, so like this what? doesn't happen. Like what? They're supposed to call Reva, my case manager, and then Reva is supposed to call my entertainment manager or my mentor, Bob. Then from there then they're for because from my understanding the reason why they were here they're they're here is because there was somebody last night or i'm not quite sure because they weren't very clear about it but it's concern over my popularity and my social media okay. and i get paid that this is my job Sounds like he wants to leave for the day anyways. So, um, you know, we'll get him, you know, a coat and his shoes. We'll, we'll ride him a citation and send him on the way. Is that all right? Okay. Daniel, go get your coat and shoes. Whatever you need to leave the house. Okay. I wasn't scared though. I was just joking. Yeah, yeah. Just go quickly. Okay. Put that down before it Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, no, Bubba. 
Hey Daniel, can you confirm your birthday for me? 11 15 1998. 19 what? 98. 98? Yes. And this is your current address, right? Yes. Your phone number for you, Daniel? Um. It would be my case manager. Let me pull it up. Okay, so I have an update. <laughs> so I am now kicked back out living on the street again. Um, the uh, police officer that showed up that the S.H.I.E.L.D. Foundation called is the same police officer that has written all of my other charges against me. They have now wrote another one for $1,000. Estimatively, they do not know, but is what they said. They do not know, but they estimated it at a thousand dollars. Um, they refused to talk to my case manager, Reva, and they called me a liar about my entire management and how we're trying to get all this, you know, sorted out. We need people to all be on the same page. They have completely called me a liar. Um, the situation blew up out of control, and now because of the people showing up on property, phone numbers being leaked, the provider, Miss P, has now came out and told the police that she is in fear for her life and is in fear of my popularity. And she has now come forward and said that. And so the police did write me a citation for a thousand dollars, and um, they they refused to talk to my case manager Reva. It's a massive mess, and um, I tried to explain that I have a you know team that is supposed to be managing popularity concerns. And the um, officer basically tried to, the police officer tried to tell me to shut up and how it's their job. Like how my, my management does not overrule them. Um, they were basically trying to interrogate me and um, they were coming in real hard and real strong. Um, Reva is still not aware of this entire situation, so she's going to have her hands full with tons of paperwork when Monday comes around. And at this point, I think it's easy enough to say that the 16-day notice is going to be guaranteed. Um, I don't know what to really say, I don't know what to really do, because I am flat out being silenced. And it's just becoming so ugly that, like, um, it, they're basically calling me a liar, even though I'm right. Also, um, one more thing, the police officer from earlier today completely refused to even have, like, even try to call or even, um try to talk to my case manager or even like I tried to tell them that like they need to when it comes down to like safety concern in public or people showing up on property they need to communicate it with um, LBI which is my supposed to be 
my um, legal and security team, but they're calling me a liar. Um, Shield is. Um, and the police. So, literally, it didn't even matter. Like, it's clear that they don't care about my life or my career. They're just always calling me a liar. And that's, like, the way I see it. As far as how everything escalated, I literally am in fear for my life as well. I'm in fear for my career. I'm in fear of my future. And if people are going to try to escalate situations like that, I'm not going to be involved. Okay, another update. This is actually crazy. So since the police wrote me a citation for $1,000 and I have to go back to court in a month on the 18th, November 18th, it just dawned on me that... Um, I might actually not be allowed back at the house completely. Um, because if I have a citation and I have court, do they have a restraining order on me and that house? It just dawned on me. Um, and so now I'm afraid to go back to the house because I told them that I was going to be out all day long because they were like, what are you going to do as far as, like, de-escalating this? I said, I don't even want to be at the house. I want to be out all day long. I'll come back tonight. And it just dawned on me that they went ahead with the citation, which, if that's the case, then it just dawns on me that, like, am I allowed to go back home at all? Or am I going to have to get a hold of my case manager? Well, with it being a Sunday, there's no way at all that I can get in contact with my case manager. I will have to be forced to wait till tomorrow. And it, that just dawned on me. Um, also, what also dawned on me is how, since I was recording for court evidence and for my safety... And just, you know, like, just everything in general. And I keep getting spam called. My number is clearly being leaked on the internet, which is a bunch of gibberish. It's so stupid, but it's clearly being leaked. This is... Hold on here, guys. I'm going to have to shut off my all of my sound. I hope you guys can hear me. But it's um, also clear that um, all the information that the police officers were asking me, well, on video, literally leaked all of my identity. My social security number, which they asked for, I'm not sure if that's on video, but my birth date, my name, first and last name, and definitely my address is also leaked. And it just dawned on me that all of that is now leaked on the internet. So, thanks a lot, um, police officers that showed up. Because that is ridiculous. So, I just also got off the phone with Bob and, um, my mentor. And he is stating that, like, he just can't be involved anymore. So... Now my music is once again put on hold because he doesn't like he doesn't want to put more money down. Um, he he's also saying that like the security is something that we're going to need, but with no one cooperating, he is like on my side of things. He doesn't know what to do. Okay, and then also I keep getting. Spam calls, um, even though I blocked the number, they're making new numbers, and it's all day long, it doesn't stop, it's like literally just all day long, all night long, and it seems to be like phone numbers that are coming up with the location of Portland, Maine. So Maine, uh, USA, and it is, um... They keep claiming to be the IRAA, which is like imprisonment free... There we go again. 
they called again, even though I just blocked their other number right before I made this video. Less than 45 seconds ago, and they're calling already again. They are claiming to be the IRAA, which is like if you're imprisoned, so that means if you're in prison and you make a lot of money or you're required to get a certain amount of money, then the IRAA can reach out to you. Um, but it's weird that this is the IRAA. Yeah, this is the IRAA. We need a response now or we will be forced to arrest you. Um, and I looked it up and it's like criminal something and then it's like if you're incar wrongfully incarcerated, you get free money. Which is like weird because they, okay, yeah, they're spamming the hell out of me. Holy shit. So yeah, um, there's, this is just flat out ridiculous. Everyone on my fucking management is going to be fired if this can't work. Also, I do admit that I should not have escalated everything by screaming and yelling. But, you know, I'm also at the same time not going to have people call around, right, and just act like I am nothing. If people are go going to say that there's an issue or something, they need to talk it over with my entire disability management, including... LBI Entertainment, which is their job to handle, you know, like security issues as far as people showing up on property. If they're going to come, if Shield Foundation is going to come over to my house, right, and just harass the hell out of me, like I have on video to where it's like, this is where I say this is how this needs to be done and they're not cooperating, they're not listening to me, and they try to fight with me, it's just flat out ridiculous. Um, I have evidence, I've sent it over to Reva before, and my case manager, Reva, has straight up told me that they can't be doing it like this. This is not how the services are supposed to be run, and it's fucking everything up. Now, um... Of course, with it being a Sunday, there is no plan moving forward. The Shield Foundation, like I said, it's clear. They don't want me at the house. Um, why is it, why does it seem like all my friends, everything that I try to make, and just everything that I try to do right gets fucking screwed up? It's ridiculous. Okay, so, I have some breaking news. I just called my care provider, Miss P, to see about how I can get home, um, since I'm going to need a ride, and if I can go home. She told me to call Robert, so I called Robert, who works for Shield Foundation, who is a, um, Mrs. P's manager, and I get a phone call from Aaliyah, um, who is working the front desk, apparently, at Shield. And Aaliyah, who is working the front desk at S.H.I.E.L.D., told me that I am not welcome to go home. And what I need to do is I need to go to the mental hospital. Because my company is fraud and I am highly mental disability whatever. Like, they're not believing me. Okay, so apparently... Aaliyah at the Shield Foundation is telling me to go all the way up to the North Glen Hospital, which is like all the way up north and like outside of Denver. <laughs> Aaliyah at Shield just fucking cussed me out and called me names and literally just party on the phone, letting me just scream at her. He's a bitch, nigger. Jackass motherfucking shield is motherfucking nigger and they're escalating this shit They just let me fucking scream on the phone because they were telling me that I was a bitch and now I'm a liar Fuck you guys bitches mother <sighs> Aaliyah at shield just fucking 
<laughs> cussed me out and called me names and literally just party on the phone letting me just scream at her. He's a bitch, nigger. <laughs> the fucking Shield Foundation just started like clapping at me and screaming at me on the phone calling me a bitch ass other fucking liar and I just broke a window in public because of this shit.